The, I would say that uh, this is a very good and encouraging news, both in terms of energy supply security and climate change mitigation, uh, because uh, Japan has been bur burning a lot of fossil fuels in order to fill the gap uh, from the lack of uh, nuclear power since the uh, Fukushima uh, the accident. And uh, the, we're seeing the very tight uh, the fossil fuel markets. In particular, the natural gas markets is very tight, in particular in Europe. And uh, this uh, restart of the Japanese uh, nuclear power plants would be good in terms of uh, freeing up a uh, substantial amount of LNG to the global market, which needs more natural gas, uh, the place like in Europe. So the obvious question is, can Japan deliver nuclear energy safely, given its um, uh, tectonic situation? And we understand the challenges constantly that the country faces from earthquakes and tidal wave risk. Why should the world believe that Japan can now deliver safe energy through nuclear means? Well, uh, in the past uh, 10 years, or more than 10 years, since the uh, Fukushima nuclear power accident, a lot has happened you know, on the side of the, uh, the nuclear safety in Japan. Uh, they have established a totally new uh, nuclear safety authority, uh, the regulatory agency, and also they totally renewed the, the nuclear safety standards to one of the most stringent ones in the world. So. Uh, because of their totally brand new systems to ensure the uh, safety, I think that the, uh, the world should believe that uh, they can operate now uh, the nuclear power plants in a safe manner. Of course, uh, the, all the, uh, the utilities, uh, the relevant industries uh, should do their best and work very hard to ensure that uh, the nuclear power would be provided uh, in, a, in a safe and solid manner. What is the time scale we're looking at when it comes to construction of new nuclear plants in Japan and the scale of investment that would be required? Uh, the, uh, the, the new build uh, would take a uh, long time, in particular in the case of Japan. And I understand that uh, the announcement by the Prime Minister Kishida yesterday was focusing more on the new types of uh, nuclear power plants uh, including SMRs, small modular reactors. And uh, we, they're, still, uh, they're still in a, basically a development stage. So we need to see, we need to accelerate those uh, developments. Uh, but uh, but, uh, but the, most, uh, kind of a, the more significant part is the restart of the existing nuclear power plants, which can be done because uh, the, the 17 reactors have already received the green lights are from the Nuclear Safety Authority. And also, the extension of lifetime of the existing plants, that's also a crucial part of achieving uh, the lower emissions uh, uh, with uh, the existing uh, the capacities. 